This is a quick uh, demonstration or a quick analysis on the eighth house, which is ruled by the scorpion, which is sex, death, and transformation, and the occult knowledge and secret knowledge, um, and the house of sexual secrets expression. But this is about death, okay? And a skim through. The various advices. If your Aries is in the eighth house, you might um, uh, have spent, like, also eighth house rules taxes, which is other people's money. Okay? The eighth house rules a lot of things. Okay? So, like, if Aries is in the eighth house, this means that you might be spending thrifty spending, like, you're spending too much money and you're going too fast and driving, head first collision, you might just die in a car crash and spending too much money and stuff like that. Something like that. Driving too fast, you know what I mean? Doing things without thinking that could lead to death. Hello? And, um, if Taurus is in your eighth house, you're going to be remembered as being beautiful. And this means Taurus, financial security. This means you're going to have a stable death. You're already going to have your coffin paid for, your ceremony, your, your, you know, your tombstone. Everything's going to be already paid for and planned. So you're not going to have this like chaotic death. You're going to have this stable death and everyone's going to remember you as being beautiful. You're going to die beautiful. Like when you're in your coffin, you're going to be looking young, youthful, and beautiful looking. No matter what you're doing through your whole life, you're going to be remembered as being beautiful. And, um, Eighth House Taurus also means that, uh, it, man, I had it right on the top of my head. Okay, Eighth House Gemini means you need to stay the freak away from pollution. Cigarettes, quit not, do not smoke, quit smoking, please. Stay with people who are smoking. This is your lungs, your life, nobody else's. No one else has to go through any of this but you. So you might have a lung disease or lung collapse. Stop breathing or it could be a problem with that. Or if you could have, you know, shoulders, hands. That's what it rules. Gemini in your mind. You know, but mostly the lungs. You could die of a lung problem. Okay. Uh, cancer in the eighth house. This is like you also... If you have cancer in the 8th house, this means you make your money off having babies. You might be on WIC or something, because 8th house also rules government homes um, and government asset, like other people's money, taxes, basically. And um, if you are cancer in 8th house, you might be having babies and that's keeping you, um, your bills paid for and stuff like that. And you having financial security, you know? And, um... Like, and if you have cancer in the 8th house, you might die giving birth, you know, having babies. And you might die of breast cancer. You might have, um, 8th house cancer. Um, something to do with, um, the, maybe the intestines, I'm not sure. Uh, the cancer could have had something to do with something to do with something. I don't remember. In that area, lift, no, I don't know, okay, um. If you are Le if you have a Leo in the eighth house, this means you're going to be very well known, and you might even die as a celebrity. Like people might not know you at all during your whole life, but when you die, people are going to notice. Wow, I found some treasures on this person. This person should have been famous. Nope, you're going to be famous when you're dead. I mean, you could get some attention here and there and stuff, but you're going to be remembered as like maybe a star quality person while you're dead. And also, you might die a a heart problem, because Leo rules the heart, the actual organ itself. You could die of a heart attack, a heart murmur, a heart problem, heart disease, you know, cardiac arrest, because you're a heart. Literally. Or the spleen. You could die of getting your spleen cut open or something. And, you know what I mean? Because it does rule the spleen. Okay. If you have eighth house in Virgo, that also has to do with, like, your mind, you might have, um, 
Well, I don't want to say this Alzheimer's though, but also like intestines, the digestive system itself, it rules the digestive mind, but Virgo, I think it is like in toxic impurity could kill you kind of thing because they're pure. It's pure. It, it, it could be one of those, um, lip notes. I think it's lip notes. Either it's a cancer in the eighth house lip notes or something wrong with lip notes disease in the or, uh, Virgo. I don't know. I mean, not everybody's, everyone's going to die and they can't die of anything else, but these 12 things, um, no, anybody can die of anything, but you know, this is just what it, it entails, I guess. But it, and you know, there's just little bits and pieces. There's more to do with eighth house than just the little things I'm saying for this many minutes, how, however long it's going to last. Okay. Libra, you might have kidney failure, kidney disease, kidney stones, having Libra in the eighth house. You know what I'm saying? And, can, you know, that's Libra in the 8th house. And, um, you're also going to have a beautiful death, too. Duh, because wherever Venus is, lies in there. It's beautiful. Okay, so if you have 8th house Scorpio, this means y you're going to have a death where till your body gives, you're not going to die until your body gives out on you and, and you finally die in peace. You could have a chaotic murder death, too. You know, you could have that you could have a sexual disease in, or it could just be like that. It could be a chaotic death, like you can't be able to afford your uh, funeral. You know what I'm saying? What are we gonna do with this bod dead body kind of thing? It must be very intense whenever you die. Very painful death. If your eighth house is Sagittarius, this means that you will die in a foreign land, which means you won't die at home. You'll die away from home, like traveling or something. You might even die on an airplane. Yeah, crazy. You might have ulcers. Um, you also, um, if you have eighth house, um, such a Capricorn, um, you're going to have to live a longer life. Doesn't mean you're going to be happily old age like a Taurus. 8th house, you're going to have to learn lessons in your life, no matter what happens to you in your body. You will have to live a longer life of lessons, um, and more discipline, more control, because Capricorn and Aquarius both rule Saturn and lessons, you know, responsibility. And this means you'll die of old age, though, Capricorn. Be very wise when you die, at least. But if, like, something happened to you where, like, you got your ear cut off, or, you know, you got in a car wreck, you had to be in a wheelchair. You still had to live with those lessons. And even if you have a disease that's supposed to kill you early, you're going to have to live with it. Live longer with it. Learning with it. Okay. If you have, and this also means you don't like to borrow things from other people, or have things borrowed from you. You're very serious about your money. Stubborn. And just logical about it. Like, you can't really trust anybody to give them back, or thinking that they're going to give it back to you, and it's just a bunch of worries that you don't have time for. You have other things to do. But, you know, there's times where... Okay, your eighth house, if it's in Aquarius, um, you'll have an inherent death. Like, however your parents die, this probably might be how you die, or inherit, you'll inherit a death of something. You might even... You never know. Like, tuberculosis, a Gemini 8th house, and that's lungs, but, like, you inherited that from the atmosphere. You might even die of, um, that one problem, um, that you get from hospitals. It's like an infection. Uh, something. It's a staph infection kind of thing. I don't remember. Psoriasis? Not psoriasis. I don't know. If you, uh, if you, you might even have all summers with Aquarius in 8th house. That's the biggest fail of Aquarius is forgetting things because they know everything, you know. Why would they, it'd be horrible for them to forget. That's their biggest fear. Okay, if your 8th house is in Pisces, this means you might have drowned. You might drown on your own vomit. You might drown in your own bathtub. You might drown swimming. Then, you know, those, um, oh, oh, um, rumors about people saying, I probably died in my past life drowning. I'm so scared of water. Well, Maybe you either are going to or you did have an 8th house Pisces. Whatever's clever, and that's just silly. But, like, you know, you could die anyways possible. You might even 
which commit suicide if you're 8,000 in Pisces. There are the suicidal sign, the most miserable sign. There, and there are chameleons, the chameleon lies to it. But, um, hopefully not. Hopefully I'll all stay alive and live happily and lucky. You know, on those planets that go into that house too that might change it up too. And it might give you an, a psychic indicator because 8th house is a psychic indicator of your abilities that you can use as well. The death place, the darkness, the mysteries and stuff. So, you know, good luck with that. The eighth house is also your power. Like, you can have psychic powers, you know? Um, Queen of Hearts is the eighth house. You know, Leo. And, I don't know, stuff like that. But, um, I don't remember what I was going to say, so fuck it. And, um, fuck it. So, like, if the 8th house is, you know, got Mars in the 8th house, which is ruled by Aries and co-ruled by Scorpio, because, uh, yeah, it could give you a brain injury, head injury, I already said that. If it's in, you know, Venus, which is ruled by Taurus and Libra, it could give you, um, maybe uh, even a throat or a hearing infection could kill you. Um, cancer, you could get skin cancer because it uh, rules the skin. That's, but Aquarius rules the skin too, Saturn, the skin tissues, I mean. And then, um, you know, you could have a blood infection with Leo in the 8th house, you could have a heart attack, because that's what Leo rules, and Virgo rules, um, your intestines, so you could, you know, that's Mercury, which is ruled by Gemini and Virgo, Gemini rules the lungs, and so, Virgo, you know, um, Okay, and, well, Libra also rules intestines, too, and, um, Scorpio rules the genitals and the hormones, and Sagittarius rules the hair, but the eyes are ruled by Taurus, the left eye, and Pisces rules the house, which is the right eye. Um... The bones are ruled by Capricorn, and spine is ruled by Capricorn. The Aquarius rules, yeah, the legs. And Sagittarius rules the thighs. Pis I thought Gemini rules the nerves. So, Pisces rules the penal gland. So, but Aries rules the brain, so really weird. Everything's different and colliding. So, um, you could have your, s s s s all those planets are ruled by each sign. So, yeah, you could have an unusual death with Uranus, Neptune in the eighth house. Hyperchondriac. Um. Okay. And Mars is accidents. And that's Ruby. Let's see. If you have sun in the 8th house, it could be natural, ah, after assertion, if it's moon, it's Angus, and if it's Mercury, it's carefree, if Venus, it's painless and peaceful, Mars, is all of a sudden, death, Jupiter, is gradual and fortunate, Saturn, is troublesome, Uranus, is awaiting your death, Neptune, is unawares of your death, and Pluto, is surprising. Also, if your 8th house is in Pisces, 
It also means you can commit suicide because Pisces rules suicide, and it also rules the other side. It rules escapism and escape, you know, through drugs, which it rules drugs, the older state of mind, other side, spiritual consciousness, which drugs are not good for you. They hinder your psychability, so don't do them to think that you're going to another world because it's bullshit. But, um, expanding your mind, it could give you experience, but whatever. Sagittarius and Pisces both rule Jupiter together, higher learning and stuff like that. But like, if you have Jupiter in the eighth house, you are a psychic medium like me. I have Jupiter in Aquarius in the eighth house. Aquarius rules astrology. And so if I am at anything that that sign rules, I will be lucky at it only if I put the effort into doing that particular sign. I have to be in that sign of Jupiter with Jupiter's help to expand on that knowledge, act on that sign, what it rules. And then in the eighth house, which is ruled by Scorpio, of course, the occult knowledge, death, darkness, despair, and, you know, sex, transformation. And if I go into all that darkness of the underworld, I will find secrets because it rules secrets too, so it's Pisces. Um, and the unknown, which is spirits, you know, invisible stuff, basically is Pisces, but that's part of it too, duh. Um, so you would have a longer expanded life, learning more lessons, especially with Saturn there, Capricorn, and Aquarius, blah, blah, which is a part of my placement, so that's funny and cool to mention, because it's what I learned and stuff, so, woo. Um... I was just gonna, uh, well, that's the part I wanted to add in there about Jupiter planet and then um, those signs uh, about Pisces and Scorpio, which is the water signs, and they rule secrets. And um, yeah. And Scorpio in the eighth house itself could indicate murder, which Pluto rules, uh, Scorpio rules Pluto, Pluto rules murder. Scorpio rules, the 8th house rules government, which is government homes, taxes, you know, government money and stuff, and inheritance. So you could get, um, you know, an inheritance of money through that stuff, I guess. But, um, okay, so that was a Pluto, the secret sex, and, um, Isolation and murder. Scorpio is a murderer. Um, and that's true. Okay. Uh, okay, so the Mercury planet in the eighth house uh, could indicate maybe. Um, Eight, eight health Pisces also could mean a drug overdose or poison because that's what Pisces rolls, even though Scorpion is the stinger of poison. So I think they both roll that. It's just seems to throw that out there. If you have Venus in the eighth house, you might have a painless death and you'd be okay. There's also websites I could link you to to read about it if you want to do that yourself in the descriptions below i yeah i usually don't put links in the description below anymore because i've heard you shouldn't do that but everyone does it and um you can do it but i don't know why but I want to do it, and I had a whole bunch of them, I deleted all of the descriptions, so you don't know what's going to be in my video descriptions. I'm not even very good at describing things that would tie me in anyways, but oh well. That's me recording my bullshit, and I was just wanting to mention some stuff to sum it up. Have a good time, have fun with that. Go ahead, look at the websites yourself if 
It's not in the description now anyway, so there you go.